Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Natik here in Elk Grove, California, and NatikYarns.com coming to you live on this amazing crisp Tuesday. It is sunshine, clear skies, and you can definitely feel uh, there is definitely coolness to the air. It's been a busy morning. You're going to see our waterman come by. UPS has um, stopped in, so right as we're going live, two people showed up. So we try and start on time, but that doesn't always happen. I'm trying to think. Did I do anything? Ooh, I did see that. I went to the movies this weekend. Couldn't even tell you what it was. Was it good? It was okay. It's what now I call them B films. They're the ones that would be at the tower. Mm, okay. But. I don't think that's really what they're called. I just happen to call them B-films, but I'm sure someone's going to tell me another name for them. Jack's like, that's not the name of the film. Not super memorable. It, <laughs> you want to go lock the door? Right. I don't know. Is he done? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, yeah. It was, this is what it was. It's an artsy fartsy film. Okay. That Those are fun. Life. It was, um, yeah, it was very interesting. So, I mean, I stayed awake. It luckily, it was 10.30 in the morning, so that makes it a lot nice. easier to be awake. Although, it's nap time for me sometimes. Oh, my gosh, seriously. <laughs> I wanted a nap yesterday. Did I take one? I don't think so. I don't think I did. I could have used a nap. I don't even think I knit this weekend, which is probably oh. what seems strange to me. I actually did knit. I cast on a new project. You did? With cashmere. Ooh, what did you, it's are you going to show on Thursday? I'll show it on Thursday. It's the two-ply cashmere in the Azores colorway. Oh, I love that yeah. you're casting on with cashmere. It's so nice. Good morning, Oriana and Eileen, Lisa, Trish. Good morning, friends. Um, I'm trying to, I really, oh, I went out to breakfast with my daughter and her boyfriend um, to a new coffee house downtown. I couldn't tell you. This is how tired I am. You guys know that I've been struggling with getting sleep. Hi. Ooh, we have someone new. Um, hello. Is it Kongi or Kangi? But whatever it is, I love your name. Um, so last night I was like, okay, I'm going to really sleep well. I took two CBD gummies, no THC in it, just two of those. And I took three of a magnesium. I don't know. Denise Richards told me to take it. Three of those. So I'm a little drowsy today. I did sleep eight hours. I was in bed eight hours and 30 minutes. That's Only awesome. awake 30 minutes in the middle of the night. That's much better than three hours. So I'm curious for those of you who are like me, uh, get perimenopause to menopause. How do you sleep? How do you get yourself to sleep? And let me say, I have no issues falling asleep because I'm sleep deprived. So I fall asleep in about a minute or two. Yeah, what is it that I take? Oh, Easy Mag. I take two of those. Mm. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Heather says it was crappy. It's the yeah. worst. I, I need answers, people. I'll take it over the alternative. Kathy. Right? Oh, Kathy, yeah, I, I want to talk to you. Oh, I love that. Ooh, I'm going to write this down. Gosh, you guys have great one. Sweet Rose Pulpy Tea. I'm writing down your suggestions. The worst. And when I talk to, because you guys know, I, we have customers of all the ages, but we have a lot of 70 and 80 year olds. They're like, it doesn't get better. And I'm like, don't no. tell me that. <laughs> I used to be able to sleep through the whole night. No problem. Now I'm up a couple of times. Okay, your iPad, Kathy. Kathy Delgado, I have questions on about the machine on oh. Amazon. It's organic. Nice. Thank you. I'm going to order that. Amazon is my favorite store. In fact, you're not going to believe this. You guys know, I've been kind of dipping my toe in sewing again just for mental health benefits, to do something creative that doesn't have to do with work, though I love knitting all the time. Let's just be clear. But it's just something. So I had a, a vintage singer featherweight that I tried for a couple of ads and then I was like eh, I think I need to buy a new sewing machine I literally I went to the local sewing machine store they didn't have it so I ordered it off of Amazon it was there two days later nice. I love it 
It is just a straight machine, but I can't wait to show you guys some of the things um, that I'm creating. It's really just to do things for Everly and just another um, outlet besides knitting. Good morning. Thank you. I'm really excited to try that tea. We have lots of things to talk about today. Uh, we'll start out with a grand prize. If you're brand new to Natique, eh, we are all about paying it forward and gifting good things. So we do a monthly prize. Um, it is valued. This one's about valued at over $125. It's beautiful. It's got great components. It comes with three different, excuse me, three different patterns. They're all for super bulky. So if you have a skein of super bulky marinating in your stash, any of these three patterns would be great for you. This is one of my favorites. It's called bottle opener. And why I like it is one row you increase by, I believe, purling two together, and the next row you increase by knit one, purl one, knit one in the front and back. And it creates this gorgeous fitted beanie. This is my youngest kid. Um, when he was young and fun, he's now 20. He would not do this anymore, but I just love it. And he used to like to be shirtless all the time till his older brothers taste him and then oh, he put no. shirts on, of course. Um, this is knit on a size 13 and 15 needle using about 87 plus. Okay. All right. And we're back. We have Headlong, which is my version, super bulky version of the CC Beanie, which to me is such a fun pattern. It's reverse stockinette paired with a knit one pearl one to give you a really stylish beanie. You guys know I love super bulky because when I feel like I'm not getting things done, I just whip out that super bulky. And last but not least, we have River Rock. This is a seven by 34 inch cowl, uh, knit on a size 15 needles, easy one night knits. Um, this uses about 109 yards. You could use Rasta or Savvy, or Caracol, or Ushaya, or Glory. Just get about 100 yards to do that one. One of our favorites is Dream and Color Savvy. This is in the color Wet Stone. And someone asked me to actually show how to spell it. Here it is right here, 557 Wet Stone. Um, good morning, Marlene. Are you between patients? Good morning, Crystal. Hi, Deb. Thank you, Angelus. I love that. I appreciate that so much. Um, I love Whetstone. The base is cream. There's almost like a, a mushroom taupe over dye on this so that you get little bits of it and lots of pops of um, fuchsia pink, red violet, chartreuse. There's a little bit of marigold, a little bit of sunflower, ultraviolet. Even this darker color, like almost raisin. Uh, with one skein, you can do any of these projects. And with one skein of Savvy, you could probably get more uh, two fitted hats, I would say. We also have the ever popular uh, freeze dried candy. I know lots of grandmas and moms are picking it up for Easter baskets this year. I'm curious. How many of you still do an Easter basket for your kids? Oh, Marlene, you're homesick. Oh, no. Good morning, Cindy. I feel like I do a community one. Maybe I did nothing. Uh, luckily, I've been out of town for business on a couple of <laughs> Easters. Makes it a lot easier. I didn't do anything last year. I don't think I even went to my sisters. Usually we would. Your kids aren't even big candy people, are they? Ray would like to be, mm. but I try not to have it around because they'll eat the whole bag. Oh, no self-control. I'm like that, too. Yeah. If it's something I really like, here's my thought. Just eat it all and don't drag it out. I mean, they won't eat the whole bag in one sitting, but they might eat it in two days and not have much else. So, oh, I see. You know. All right. We also have our fabulous magnetic shawl pins. There is this gorgeous earth magnet. Yeah, even the back is pretty. I think so, too. I think you could just do it this way, too, if you wanted something a little less I visible. That. that would be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we have it in gold. We have it in silver. We have in other ones. Sharon Peterson, you still do baskets for your seven adults and two children. Wow. 
I get C's for Greg. Yeah, see, that's what I want. I just want C's candy. I just want yarn. It's my favorite. Uh, we also have two of the Harmony Hearts, the large in pink, the small in red. This is just if you need a little bit of portable therapy in your pocket or your knitting project or in your car. Because I'm seeing lots of crazy people out there. They're even good to look at because you know someone loved you enough to give you one. Oh, I love that. Uh, we also have our Lux layered necklace. This is in the gold. There are crystals on both sides, which I love. It makes it very wearable. I also like that it's already layered, so you don't have to adjust the lengths yourselves. It comes with a pair of earrings. And last but not least, we have the cashmere blended scarf. This is chocolate brown. It does have fur palms on both ends. It's a little bit of a thinner one. It's not a super thick stole, but I love it. Uh, one will be traveling to me with me to Europe because I have, uh, when I travel, I like to do a, um, I pick three colors. So I'm going to do camel, blue jean, and hot pink. Those are going to be my three colors. So all my clothes go together. Do you end up getting more outfits? Because I have to leave room for I'm just going to ask you guys, what am I going to leave room for in my suitcase? There could be a lot of things, but this is something. Now my daughter's home. She's using all my good, this word, to do baking. And I'm like, that's not for baking. Oh, yeah. That's for eating. Yes, Brenda, to bring butter <laughs> back. I love that you guys know me. I'm really going to pack a small, like hardly any things, one jacket, two pairs of flat shoes, probably one or two pairs of jeans. It's a small, shorter trip. I think from flight to flight, I'm seven days. So I could pack five outfits, three outfits. I don't know. Yeah. I could do it. I got to leave. on an extra shirt. Roxanne knows <laughs> I've done cheese before yeah. too. Yep. And yarn. I'm going to a yarn trade show, so I'm excited to bring home samples of fall 2024. That's why I go. I get a heads up on purchasing that type of goodies. Um, how do they get entered into the grand prize, Susan? So every time you make a purchase, you get one entry. So the more purchases you make, the more entries you get, and it includes pretty much everything, right? Everything. Yeah. Every purchase, whether it's um, classes, um, online classes, yarn, gifts. We have a great gift selection if you're looking for a small gift for someone. Um, you know those chalkboard travel maps? That's what's yeah. going in Everly's Easter basket mm, for me. Good idea. I don't do a full Easter basket. Here's why. Because then it's like she gets an Easter basket from me, from her mom, from her aunt. I try and just do a couple presents. Because they're very strict on her sugar. Like, we can get her one small thing. And even then, my son's giving a stink eye. Oh, even though he was a candy guy. Yeah. He still is. All the candies at my house. Um, okay, so we're going to be doing the drawing live, I believe, on Friday. So. Friday is the 1st of March. We can't wait to see who the winner is. Um, also, we do a daily prize. This is one of our patterns called Autobahn. It is a fingerless glove with elongated arm, wrist. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a cuff. A long cuff. And that's because if you have lived somewhere cold, these little shorties are a joke. The minute you put your arm out, all this is exposed. So I did a longer cuff so that it would work nicer. We have one beautiful skein of Barocco Providence, which is a single ply, 65% merino wool, 20% baby alpaca, 15% silk. I love the single ply and that it's tweed. So you can get one pair out of that. It's knit on a five or six needle. All of our patterns are available on Ravelry on our website, which we are inching our way to 200. We are very, crazy. very close to 200 patterns on a Ravelry. How you get entered into the daily prize is every time you are going to react to the video through these emojis, you think we're funny, you want to give us a hug, you love the color, you just want to shower us. Ooh, look at I did about six. Wow. Don't push your luck. Ooh, maybe they, they must have changed it. it. That was a glitch. Hi, Melanie. 
so this is going to give you one entry for every one for every comment you are going to get five entries oh my goodness i didn't i don't have my glass oh there they are thank god you get five entries for every comment and we are so grateful when you share to your friends to your stories to your instagram our goal is to have find everyone who needs a local store and they find us and they can see that you don't have to be local to still get that feeling of community and i'm curious right now um where is everybody from i gotta put my glasses on i'm like oh i need that brighter it's so hard <clears throat> without them Oh, yeah, Eileen, it is giving me more. Thank you. This is one of our exclusive colorways called Seven Natique, my shawl. We've got, oh, you're from, wow, you're from Las Vegas. Nice. That's where Melanie's from. Mm. I'll be there, what, in two weeks? I think so, yeah. I don't know. I got to hit Nancy up to watch Hank because the kids are going out of town. Elk Grove. The UK, Northern Minnesota, Florida. I love all this. I love seeing where everybody's at. Um, all right. So I thought you guys got five entries for doing that comment. We're going to see who is going to get the prize. This is based off of yesterday's. Trish, I, I, I remember that you're Auburn. Did I tell you I grew up there? Off of Mount Vernon Road is where my parents' house is. I love that area. Oh, Angelus was born in the Bronx in New York. Nice. All right, so based off of Saturday's video, let's see who's going to be the lucky winner of this amazing prize. Oh, Helen, congratulations. Oh, it's been a while since you won. Helen is not local, though we would love for you to visit us. I know. Uh, so next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will include it in your pretty pink package. We keep our prizes for about one month, and if they are not picked up, then we recycle them and pass them on to another winner. This is a look at some of the other um, enamel magnetic shawl pins that we have. I think they're great. Um, I, you know the leaf ones tend to be my favorite. Yeah. Very, very oh pretty. Oh, my gosh. The list is crazy. I don't know what yeah. you guys have done. <laughs> I, we, we gotta, I like the way you do it, and I don't know what you do different than I'll I do. I'll show you. But yeah, because okay, what mine gets color? a little crazy looking. And today's the date, 2 27, 24. All right. We have while we get our housekeeping done. Yeah. My favorite to stay positive and never even go to the top thing. I'm a dog person. Yeah, I Did we ever so post any of the pictures of Hank? No. Oh, my somebody. gosh. I'm so sorry, everyone. I don't have them. I have a work in the back day today, so I will post it for everybody. He is a cutie patootie. All right. He's here today. He is. So if you're local and you want to walk a puppy out to go potty, we'd love to I love that. that. He's eating. Um... I've ventured out into the world. I'm, it's because of TikTok, like what to feed your dog. So, Melanie, this could work for Yofi. Um, you basically take their food and you wet it down and you grind it up. I just put mine in the Cuisinart. Then you put it in this little container with extra goodies and then freeze it. And I'm telling you, instead of eating his food in less than five minutes, and I use one of the bowls. Maybe it's ten minutes. It's like an hour later it takes him to eat it. And then he's exhausted, and then he takes a nap. So that's what we've been doing for Hank. And Stitch gets to join in on the fun. Okay, we are talking about um, things that I picked up at the trade show in Las Vegas. Melanie, we put yours on hold. Um, so it is, we've saved them for you. Um, okay, do you guys want to know a little? I know I'm not. I'm going to show you later. It's basically a big rubber thing like this. If you're not, don't have a big dog, you can get them at Home Goods. Wet, you can put chicken broth on it, right? And then you freeze the extra liquid into ice cubes, and then you can put that on their food. 
And then I put in, this is gross, but he loves it, a duck foot, a sardine, some extra little uh, freeze-dried meats, and you really tuck them in there, an hour or two. He's had it all morning, and I brought it in a Ziploc bag, and I said to Susan, <laughs> are you ready for something smelly? And she thinks I'm talking about the puppy. <laughs> no, it's his food, but I'm telling you, it's fantastic. Oh my gosh, Lisa, that's right. Yes, it's, it's here, puppy. but it is amazing if you're trying to get keep your dog, uh, their brain going without you having to entertain them the whole time. And he literally grabs it by the duck foot and takes it around where he wants to go. <laughs> Melanie says it sounds too much. It's to not. Me. I'm telling you it's in a bowl, water on top. That's it. It's entertaining your dog for two hours. Yes. All right. So we're going to talk about what I picked up at the Las Vegas trade show. I think that was January. Um, it's perfect for the upcoming season of Easter or spring or whatever you celebrate. Well, that brings you joy in the springtime. And I think they're so cute. This they're company so cute. is Danish inspired and made in Nepal, paying livable wages. There is a guarantee. They sent me the paperwork, so I know for sure. I am like a dog with a bone. Like, you can't just say it. I want proof. And if they can't provide proof, I do not order from them because it's very important to me. This is, maybe you can do the link. And I will do my link too. This is called Under Posable Friends. We are working our links to make it a little bit easier for everyone. We do have a limited supply. Um, this is, I can't even pronounce it, but we're going to say Gree and Sif. It is handmade. Everything can be moved. You can make them sit. So cute. The sweaters are hand knit. These are hand felted. The price point is great without being so cheap that you think that they don't pay livable wages. That's how I knew they paid livable wages. Um, we have three different styles. This is the yellow bunny with the carrots. I mean, everything about it. So cute. So cute. The details on this, you can see the eyeballs. Let me look to see. It's almost like it's a thicker French knot. Everything is hand sewed. I mean, I love this little hand knit. They even had them at the showroom where they bent the knees and they went over. Hold on, let me show you. Like this. Oh, so cute. Obviously, you have to get it right. Maybe a little. There we go. There we go. He's sitting on the counter. That's sitting so on the cute. counter. Wait till you see the knitting one. I'm going to show you guys now. He says, take me home. I think it's so adorable. Uh, when I saw this, I was like, oh, we need these. This is a little mouse, the knitting mouse. She has needles. She has her work attached to a ball, a hand knit sweater, feltable hat. I love that her ears are coming out of it. And look, she even has a tail. Now you could pull it straight because it is a wrap, but we'll just leave it like a pig because it just makes it a little bit easier. It also balances. Is that just... You do have to work with the weight a little bit. Here we go. Cute. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can do it. We did link it and then I will pin the post. We have a limited amount of these. I just think they're so adorable. And last but not least in the posable friends. Oh my gosh. We got to bend this up. We have the sheep, or like we like to say, damn lamb, with a tulip. There we go. Get them all the way in there. Let's take a look. There's his little tail. He's a sheep. Fuzzy little sheepies. Wool on his head. He's got the flower. Nope. Stay. There we go. They're so cute. You get a whole 
town setting going on here. We've got the farmer, the knitter, and the gardener. Your cats would love them. Oh, I dear. Know. <laughs> so I'm going to set those there. All right, next from this company, we have felted little bags. And I have ordered felted bags before, but I've never seen the quality of these. They are really well made. This is handmade, therefore each product is gonna be unique. You can clean them gently with a damp cloth. Okay, this one is called the Honey Bee. Uh, the details of this, you never see so many things. All these layers, like the the B is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe eleven. And this they used. There's felt pieces and then roving. This is all roving and hand stitched. Nice. And then all of this extra work. The layers on top. We have a cute little felted ball. It's even lined, so I love that. Hello. Hi, Allison. You are on my list to call today. Oh, I love this one. So um, hummingbirds always remind me of my mother, and I just think it's such a cute uh, option for this one. This is a purple hummingbird layers right here. Ooh. It's almost like there's um, fuchsias. If you've ever seen fuchsias in real life, they're so mm. beautiful. I think it's fuchsia. I think it's plural, whether it's one or multiples. I love the hummingbirds, the blanket stitch, the running stitch, a little bit of pink that goes perfectly. Oh, Sharon, I love that too. Yep. Whenever a hummingbird comes up, I always think my mom just... Did a little drive-by or a flyby. Um, okay, I thought this was cute. Karen, uh, new Karen, has Dalmatians, and um, Alistair and Sierra are hers. They're naughty Dalmatians. But look at how cute this is. Even this blanket stitch, they've hand felted the spots on them. I love the gold trim. Look at even oh the my. ear. So cute. And they put bedazzling on the red collar the little felted ball is red it's a beautiful gray blue background and then we have lined in black crystal she already has one set aside i literally put her name on it right when they <laughs> came in um this is the other thing that reminds me of my mom's sunflowers so this is just a little uh bee flying around the sunflowers if you are not a gardener, that is something you should plant. It's the easiest thing. You do need to water them, but you just plant the big seeds and they come up. And maybe people didn't know this. Sunflowers turn towards the sun. So they really do rotate in the day. And it's so beautiful. I like the, instead of the mammoth ones that actually produce mm. sunflower seeds, I like the bushy ones better. These also, let's see, a little bit about the company. In 2004, uh, they started a felt production company in Nepal. Since then, the production has expanded quickly for originally two uh, Nepalese women. Today, they have more than 125 employees, wow. mostly women. Gamcha's vision is to help Nepal. Nepalese women to get a job through the sale of felt. So thank you for your support. Look at this cute little. You see, it's like a hat. It's an eye. You see the blue eyes. Okay. So fun. All right. And last but certainly not least, and I'm excited to hang these in the store. We have the um, beautiful, colorful garland. I love hanging these in the windows or along the edge. Um, I really on my mantle is where I hang stuff like this. Melanie had an idea of hanging it around her yarn, her yarn cabinets, right? So have them hanging down. I'm going to pull it out gently so you guys can see all the amazing colors on this, but we're going to put them 
up on the mirror. Okay, look at this one. No two are the same. They are all different. This is, I think it's nine foot. Um, we'll say it's between six and nine foot. I don't want to um, do it. Take it out. This has been certified that they've been paying livable wages since 2009. This is a handmade product of sheep wool made by human hands. Nice. So a machine is not making it. People are making it, which I love that. It's a lot of needle felting. I wonder if they do needle felting or they put them in yeah, the... Um, you can take a nylon tube and put it in there. And that would be the more economical way for them. Can't you probably. guys see this in your on your mantles in your house along the edge? So this is the, uh, I think you did colorful balls, which just cracks me up. But I like it. We can change it. No, nope, <laughs> we're going to leave it just like that. Now, here's the one that we're going to hang up here. I think so. Um, I grew up with pennants. And that's not penance, but that too, because I was raised Catholic. But, uh -oh. right? Bunting. Over a window in a craft room? Yes, a bunting. Oh, my gosh. Let me. It's not I love that they even come in their own little carrying case. This, this is a little bit more delicate. Look at how cute they are. You can hear my monkey in the back. <laughs> cute okay the other one's over there are they the same no they're not even the same even this look at orange orange look that one's brighter yeah so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twenty five and they sewed coordinating oh, wow. um blanket stitch around each pennant let me post. Can you change the links to the garden? Oh, I forgot they were on. Yeah, I did all the links for you. You did. Uh, let's see. Uh, that one. You guys can hear the monster in the back. Melanie says she bought her balls, my knitting mouse, and candy. Let me close no. the door. In theory, I changed it on this end, but it is. I think it does. It takes a minute for okay. it to show up. So if you search posable friends or I believe felted zip pouch or felted garlands, they will come up. All right. This is our offering from this great company. Melanie, how do you pronounce that? I figure you might know. I want to say it's Gree and Sif. But that's I was thinking Gry and Sif. Maybe. Oh. So cute. All right. That is the fun, fun, fun gifties from brand new gifties from the company. And we are going to segue into more socks from Blue Q. We all know from last week that Blue Q donates. 1% of their sales, not their profit, which I love that because normally it's their profit. Well, not most companies donate their profit, right? Instead of their sales. This is 1% of their sales are donated to Doctors Without Borders. Over like one and a half million dollars has been done. Gree and Seth. Seth. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I was like, Melanie, how do you say this one? Okay, these are very uh, tongue-in-cheek and not altogether much cheek. They're cheeky, <laughs> as my great aunt used to call us, cheeky monkeys. Um, Blue Q socks are soft comb cotton. These are ankle socks. Uh, I just think this is funny for my friends that are actually funny. I'm effing hilarious. If you love this type of funky sock, um, the sayings on it, you for sure are going to want to sign up for our uh, not so politically correct stitch stoppers. We do have spots available and advertising is going out this week. So cute. 
Um, this pair are ankle socks. You can see they're a little bit shorter. I love these for traveling and size 5 to 10. Okay, here's the other one. We got a, we had little bags like this. This is that bright yellow. Turns out I'm tough as shit. I think most people are tough, you know, or life has taught you to be tough. Other times we don't realize it until the crisis has passed. Yeah, how I good we are. We are all stronger than we mm -hmm. are aware of. Oh, this is my team in general. I love this. Super effing awesome. You guys know Blue Q is definitely very cheeky, but so fun. And for the most part, these aren't going to show. You just know that you're wearing them. But when the people do see them, they love them. Socks, I feel, are the latest uh, hot accessory for uh, men and women. Um, this is kind of in advance for Mother's Day. We have Sisters Are the Shit. I love the coloring on this one. We have Aunts Are the Shit. That's where I'm going to be like on both of those. Just ask my, the kids. I'm probably, yeah, I'm all this. In a bag of chips. <laughs> In a bag of chips, that's right. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Even though I don't really have too many moments of that uh, anymore, but you guys know when your kids are driving you crazy and you just can't hold it in anymore and you let them, you zip them. Or as my kids say, zap them. <laughs> but the Blue Q socks, funny, tongue in cheek. They sell really well in the store. We've got crew socks. We have ankle socks um, and so many others that are less zingy, but still crazy fun. I love the bright colors. I love that they are donating 1% of their sales to Doctors Without Borders. All right, that's our offering today. We have so much yarn to showcase, but I'm like, we got to showcase some of the fun gifty items because not only do we sell yarn and patterns and candy, but lots of amazing gifts that I really work hard at trade shows to find something unusual that kind of fits our niche. And I'll be back in Vegas, I think, in a couple of weeks, probably a couple of weeks. Let's go talk about what classes we have coming up. <laughs> So many. We have on Saturday the um, Saturday Shrug Knit Along. This is just a one hour, five dollar class. We have options that we've suggested. Uh, if you want to make a large to a 2XL, you're going to want to use bulky weight as opposed to worsted weight, which the pattern calls for, especially if you want to pull it over your shoulders. I'm going to give you lots of tips and tricks to. Um, really make it fit your body. It's going to involve knits that fit, so you're going to want the cords too, but I love this one. On m Tuesday, March 12th, we have Sunset Kisses. Now, this looks a little bit different for some of you uh, because the pattern is originally we knitted out of our first exclusive for 2024, Sunset Kisses, which is beautiful orangey pink. I don't even know where it is, but it's beautiful. This is a cowboy cowl, easy at its finest, lots of garter stitch. I love this really wide garter border. I think it really um, makes it look like you finished it. There's nothing crazy about it. We do have a slip stitch detail at the end, but you can see something like this with a lot of garter and yarn over two together breaks up any pooling that you might possibly have just runs together very nicely it does it's so beautiful even in a seven series mm -hmm. uh, it would be beautiful all right we also are teaching a two session class on pretty petals this uses a worsted weight you could again use something semi-solid you don't want to use anything variegated you could use noro silk garden you would need two to three of those i would get three to be safe yeah. because it's so close um but that is a uh, one hour, two session class. These are via Zoom. Oh, I should have said uh, the Saturday Shrug is in the boutique. 
Uh, we have our not so politically correct stitch stopper subscription. We have our new book, Pom Pom Knit How. Highly recommend if you are a newer knitter and you need a little bit extra. And then we also have our date night tea. This is a two session class, two hours each time. Uh, there's lots of different yarns that you can use. I just happen to have this in my stash. It is all out of beaded silk and sequins, but we do have, I'll just grab one. You could do it all out of silk. You could do one skein of beaded silk at the top. This is what I'm bringing, I think, to Europe for, because it won't take up a lot of room and it's a lot of knitting. So I love this. I may, I may switch to this one. I love that color. So hard to uh, it is. Here's the one that I would normally do. And I can't tell you I have so many sweaters in this color. But I love this one, too. This is what I call Beat Pink Color 348. It also can be done out of our Linen Whisper, which is fantastic if you want to participate but don't want to buy silk. Linen Whisper is a great one. I really need to knit it out of that, too. Yeah. Um, so we do. We do. Um, I think that's all that we have currently on our class list, but it's because I'm traveling a lot in March. Um, upcoming is our retreat at the beginning of April. Um, there is, there might be a couple spots open, so if people are looking to join, um, set up on the wish list. Wait list? Wait list. We have a wait, wait list. list. We have a wait list. Um, the classes are on, which classes are online? Everything but the Saturday Shrug are all taught via Zoom because we teach to people around the world. It's the easiest way to do it. And also, you get a copy of the video when on the next business day, Susan, who is the camera person, she emails it out. This is what I always say. Start a separate folder in your mail and then you just put your classes there so then you can watch at your leisure you also can reach out to us at hello at natique yarns and i would love to help you so we're talking about what we are wearing i am wearing the wavy garden revisited susan did knit this one um a nine and eleven that might have been for the blind off oh I that could be yeah, I used at least a nine, if not. This used a ball of two different colors of Art Yarns Silk Merino. Mer Silky Twist. Silky Twist, sorry. It is a worsted weight, a really fun way of doing this type of um, shawl. I love, it almost looks like the Taj Mahal if you yeah. turn it down this way. Look at this. Very, very easy. I'm sure I have a shirt out of this because it looks beautiful. Again, we used 348 is the pink, and then this gorgeous green is our 7 Natique. It is exclusive to Natique. Let me see if I can pull it. Your, your top out of it is on the cabinet. On the cabinet? Look up. Oh, yeah, there yeah. it is. Yeah, let's see if we can zoom up. You guys can see her top. And, oh, no, don't do that machine. There we go. That one slipped September in the same colorway. Yeah, but here are the two colors. This is color number 348. If you purchase the yarn just in the notes, let us know you would like the pattern. We can pop it in there. And then we have seven Natique. That is our exclusive. And it does so well. Probably our top selling, definitely our top selling exclusive that we've done. Hi, Sandy. But very, very fun. Silky Twist is just delicious. It's the only worsted weight that Art Yarns carries. 80% extra fine merino wool, 20% silk. I'm going to say it's a true worsted because mohair ombre two-ply could knit it as a worsted, but it's definitely like fluff, mostly fluff. All right, we'll turn it around, show you what Susan is wearing. Uh, if you're new to the boutique, you can see we're big fans of pink. Look at this. We have pink velvet chairs. We have a pink fabulous drapes. And then we have Susan. <laughs> we ended up in pink today. That's right. And that's one of our, our other spots, too, that you're wearing. Oh, yes. 
He's like, what are you talking about? I know, right? This is Orchid Cowl out of Merino Cloud in a spots colorway. I don't remember the exact number. This is Art, yeah, Art Yarns Merino Cloud in, it might be 348 spot. It might. I don't know. So it's just their base with little blips of the color. I think it is, because if I hold this up, you can see it's not dark like the other one. Yeah. One easy cowl, a little bit of lace, some stocking it, and some Ooh, garter. This got crazy. Uh oh. Hold on. Let me hold it right. Okay. It could have been me. Yeah, you change your angle a little bit, and it kind of, you have to learn to compensate for what it's about to do. There we go. Yeah, it's tricky. Crystal says, beautiful. Looks Thank great you. on you. Thank you. All right, my lovelies, we are off. We will be packing your orders and shipping them out today. Um, but as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to email me at hello at Natik Yarns. If you would like to experience a little bit more community here at Natik, on Tuesday and Wednesday, I go, um, I pop on to Zoom. And we do an hour, uh, we call it Knit, Sip, and Hook with Boss Lady. I am knitting with you guys. Sometimes I'm packaging. But three to four Tuesday and Wednesday is where you can um, join me for a little uh, knit together, crochet together, cook together. The link is on our Facebook page, and it's the very first pinned one. And you'll see Everly and I when she was about two years old. So. We need to do some fresh ones. But thank you, everyone, for joining us. As always, we hope you had a great weekend, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Bye-bye.